What's up guys, it's Chelney here again, and I'm here to give you another guide for Mega Man 4. This time we're looking at Cossack 3, uh, which is the Cockroaches fight. Uh, this is actually a really easy fight, uh, a lot easier than uh, you might think. Uh, the only really time-specific thing you have to do in this fight is uh, try to organize it so you can get the double hit in for killing the first Cockroach, but also hitting the second with the same shot. Um, so I'm going to show you, uh, it's essentially uh, the same fight. I'm going to show you two different types of fights. I'm also going to show you the two different patterns that Cockroach can give you. So right now I'm going to show you the current strat that I do for this fight. Ideally here, all it is is jump up and hit him as soon as possible. So I release that first shot and start charging the second one right away. My goal is to jump across and get right underneath him here so I can hit him as soon as possible once my... Uh, my next charge completes fully. So I, this is probably the one thing that most people will not like about the strat is trying to get this jump uh, big enough but short enough so that it's big enough that you make it to this platform but short enough that you don't jump too high and hit him with your charge that's not quite ready yet. Uh, it's kind of a kind of a tricky jump to get used to but it's uh, it's not too bad once you uh, practice it a little bit. And once the charge fully uh, Finishes, I jump up and hit him with it, still holding B, obviously, because we're using the Pharaoh glitch. And then I'm going to jump up once his iframes wear off and release B and hit him with the third hit. So, uh, pretty straightforward so far. Again, jumping across, this jump's a little easier. Jumping up, hitting him with the charge. Now, this is the point that um, is really the only point that's important here, is once he gets about here, he's going to stop roughly in the middle. I'm going to jump up and I'm going to release B and hold down when I do because it's going to throw the shot downward and hit the second cockroach as it comes out of this door. So I killed him because he had less than 3 HP. The shot doesn't get used up. It goes right through him. And as you can see, I'm blinking here a bit because there's a lot of sp uh, sprites on screen. But the shot goes all the way across and it hits him down here as the second one comes out the door. Then I, I charge as soon as I release again, just like uh, all the other shots. Um, so that by the time Cockroach gets about here, um, my charge is good, and I can release uh, that shot and throw it at him as he's going across. Again, charging again. He's going to stop, so I just throw the shot when he stops. Now, here's where the pattern can uh, be slightly different. He can do one of two patterns. One, he can do this pattern, where he shoots four little bullets. They'll branch out in all directions. What I do here is I jump up. And I sort of turn, I move a little bit to the right and I turn right so that I get damage boosted back onto the platform. This basically allows it so that I'm not going to get hit and fall onto the spikes. And then once that happens, I'm still charging. I have iframes now because I got hit, so I can just jump right up into him with the full charge and let that hit him. And then throw the charge across when I release B and kill him at the top of the screen. That's sort of a breakdown of the fight. Uh, I'm going to show you the exact same fight again, but now with the slightly faster pattern. It's basically the exact same fight. I'm not going to really uh, drag on about this fight very much. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Release the first shot, jump across, hit him with the charge, release the next charge, hit him with the charge, release it downward to hit the uh, top one and the bottom one, then charge and release down. When he stops, hit him again. Now there's the different pattern, is he can shoot a single large bullet uh, towards you. And if he does that, you just jump up and avoid it. And then you can either, uh, you can play this uh, as dangerously as you want if you've got the hit points. You can just jump up into him if you want, and that'll damage boost you back down here and hit him with this charge. But I always found that to be a little slow, so I always try to like just slightly move towards him, but then away from him, and that kind of manipulates the Pharaoh shot over a little bit, like that. And that hits him as well, and then I throw the shot up to finish him off, just like the last uh, fight. So they're pretty much exactly the same. It's just, uh, you gotta be aware of the little bit of RNG when he's down here, and he's about to do his either big shot towards you or the four little ones. The only uh, other thing I can say about this fight, maybe, is if you're not... Um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll pause it here once the fight's about to start. If you're not comfortable with this hop here, you don't actually have to do it but it makes the timing of your shots a little bit tighter, and it makes this timing, this last shot where you gotta throw it downward a little bit uh, harder. But you can also do this, you can jump across, and you can stand here and wait for him to come to you. Hit him with the charge, 
then stand and release that shot upward, then jump back, hit him with that, and throw that down. You have a little bit less time to hit him with that one and throw downward if you do it that way, but it's still pretty straightforward and easy. It's not that hard to do. And there you go. It's He's dying in roughly the same place uh, for the second cockroach as the other patterns as well. So yeah, that's a quick, uh, quick and dirty tutorial on uh, Cossack 3 boss cockroaches in Mega Man 4.